Okay, hi, how are you? I want to talk about something today that um, I find really interesting when it comes to the likes of uh, horse riding and sports in general, okay? And a lot of different uh, instructors and like teachers in sports aren't actually taught about the anatomy of the human. So like we get taught all how to like tell all um like in PT, like you're becoming a personal trainer. And also when I was doing neuromuscular therapy, we get taught about the muscles, what they do, how they affect your body and how that translates into training. So like, you know, if you're doing a squat, you're working these muscles, your quads, your glutes, your hamstrings. And in this, this pa uh, fashion, same thing, like with their neuromuscular therapy, it's about like how you can rehab and what that muscle does and why you need that help and why it can be causing pain. Whereas a lot of sports and I don't know what it's like in field sports, probably obviously at the elite levels, they are teaching you because they're doing gym work as well and there's an in, uh, intertwine and like obviously it's about skills and you know kicking the ball or hitting the ball. Um, but I've noticed uh, in a lot of other things like say for instance with the horse riding or growing up when we were younger you know you'd be taught because say the person who's taught they're taught like what you do but we don't know how it works in conjunction with our body so as we get older that becomes a lot more harder to visualize so we get given these visualizations so say for instance if you've ever been horse riding you've probably been told sit up you sit up you know to sit up right you know how to put your heels down one of my favorites before is we had an instructor who used to yell us stick your boobies out which is a great way of getting your back straight because you are sticking your chest forward okay now this is great this all works it's and the same thing we use it in pt we use these different kind of cues uh, and visualizations so people know what they're doing but i think we need to learn a bit more in general about how our body actually works so yeah we know how to walk we know how to talk we know how to trot we know how to ride and trot we know how to like you know all this but if you understood what muscles are working so for instance if you're coming up and down in a rise and trot and you're not activating your glutes you're pulling yourself forward but if you're pushing up it's easier to stay upright okay and it's not uncommon for say our hips to be tight and our glutes not to work so our hips are pulling us forward instead of our glutes pushing us up this is common in all all, diff all different walks of life not just horse riding but if we understood that we could focus on thinking what muscle do i need to work yeah i want to stay upright in my rising trot but what am i doing that's stopping that happening and this I think is really important and something that really needs to be done on like an overall level because if you're really frustrated about something that you cannot do but you don't know why you can't do it how are you ever going to fix it like you can always talk about the old half halt like what is a half halt does anyone really know I don't but maybe if I understood the concept of it other than we're giving the horse a little bit of a bend it might be a little bit easier. I found that easier. I found while focusing on my riding, knowing what I'm doing in the last few months and knowing what I'm looking for, can I feel my core engage? So do you know what it's like to feel your core engage? It's not sucking your stomach in, it's tensing it. Can't do you know what it's like to feel those muscles? How can you engage your core if you don't know what it feels like? Same thing, like I know I want my glutes firing so I can feel them. I squeeze them to stand up my rising trot and lower down. If you don't know what that feels like, how can you improve it and as i said this is nothing to do with instructors instructors aren't taught the anatomy like i'm surprised so many different types of sports and people who are um will be training you in different things aren't taught about the anatomy of the human the horse like we are with the horse in a sense they probably know more about the anatomy of the horse than they do with the human which is kind of funny when you think about it, like not that there's anything wrong with learning the anatomy of the horse. I think that's very important too, but it makes it easier if you know what they're doing wrong. It makes it easier for you to correct them. So obviously there's plenty of instructors out there who knows what looks wrong. Absolutely. Like I know instructors there for years. They look at you and they're like, you're doing this wrong, right? You need to do this. But if you could kind of more, visualize what you're act, like what you're doing to do it um i think that'd be really important and that's the kind of thing i do this is what i talk about when i'm horse riding like what are we thinking about when we're riding 
like last week I talked about that, is your mind just going off on something else? Well, how are you going to improve if you're thinking about the dinner or, you know, uh, what you're doing for the evening, that kind of thing. And likewise, when you're riding, you go, you know, okay, sit on horse, sit up, kick, kick, potentially. If it's my horse, you have to kick repeatedly for anything. But, you know, we know about squeezing, we know about giving contact, we know all these things. And maybe you don't know about all these things because you're only new to riding. However, do you know why you're doing it and how you're doing it? That's a really thing. Like, obviously, you know why you kick the horse because the horse knows that's made to listen. Or you put your leg back for canter, for instance. Say, for instance, that. Like, if you put your leg back for canter, the horse knows that's, that's that means the rider wants me to canter. So... When you're trying to improve your position, like, do you know why your core is important? We hear that word all the time. It's l- like literally one of the big words out there. Core. What is your core? It's not. It can be actually as far as your glutes. It's this area. How do you know it's engaged? You can feel it activating. Just like you can feel yourself pulling the reins or leaning back, you can feel that activating. And this is the thing that I think we need to maybe bring more of a focus to and start learning how our body interacts with the horse and how that affects our riding and affects the horse listening to us and our own position. And with this over time, I think that amalgamated with a good instructor as well, you're going to see a lot of improvement. And as I said, this is why I do this and this is why I'm really passionate about this. I'm passionate about people knowing why they're doing and what they're doing. And with that, that comes and it helps injuries as well, previous injuries. We have a shoulder problem for so long, but you don't know why it's sore. It could be the fact, it's general law, that the weak muscles in the back are weak. And we are like this a lot. So how do we strengthen those muscles in the back? We actually work on building up those muscles with bands, with weights, with even body weight movement. And now you know why it's, or what's causing it, or why it's an issue, now we can work on fixing it. So... It's just something that I'm really interested in and I just thought it would be really interesting for you guys to think about as well because yeah, I know it can be boring or annoying um, these things may not be interesting to you but if it can affect your riding and improve your riding I think it would be can be very, very uh, helpful and really, really make a difference and it can get rid of a lot of frustration if we just know what we're supposed to do and why we're doing it how we're doing it. So... That's just what I wanted to have a quick little chat about today. As I said, something I'm passionate about. I think we all need to know how our body works. And we take for granted all the things it does every day. And how our muscles work in conjunction with our bones and our digestive system. And all that kind of stuff. And how we just do stuff without thinking. Which is mad. It's mad to think that we can just do these things without thinking. And have no idea why it's working. But anyway. I digress a little bit. If you do want to learn a bit more about how your body works and how we can fix that with your riding, do drop me a DM, drop me a message. I am obviously here on Instagram. You can get my website either, which is www.chrissyhawkins.com. There's a contact form there and we can talk about how I can help you utilize this process to either improve your riding or finally shift that injury that you've been looking to get rid of for years. So, do it today. (laughs) I'm happy to help and I love helping. So I thank you for joining me and I hope you found this video somewhat informational.